Emotional intelligence isn't a new idea, but it's getting increased awareness in the workplace and across social media as a coveted personal awareness that not everyone has. It allows you to read people in situations, diffuse conflict better, and effectively manage your own emotions. So join us as we explore seven things that might trip up some people, but those with high emotional intelligence don't get bogged down. Number seven, overthink things. Have you ever laid in bed replaying a particular event over and over? Or maybe you've been texting with a close friend and they go silent, and suddenly you're wondering if you upset them, even though it's far more likely that they're just going about their day. While it's perfectly normal to analyze, assess, and worry from time to time, it can be unhealthy to dwell on something for too long. Overthinking usually causes more stress and rarely leads to a solution to a problem. Quite the opposite, it can lead down a winding path of what-if situations that can cloud the facts. One way we sometimes overthink is by catastrophizing our lives, looking at a situation with an either-or lens and pondering the worst-case scenario. For example, if you were thinking of switching careers and had concern about financial security while you start over, you may find your brain continually telling you that you won't be able to pay bills and that no one will hire you. However, those with high emotional intelligence can better navigate these situations, reframing how they think about a problem. So next time you think you're caught in this endless cycle, ask yourself if these thoughts are helpful. If the answer is no, you could be overthinking. Number six, gossip. Gossip, spilling the tea, the rumor mill, whatever you call it, emotionally intelligent people avoid it like the plague. Gossip can feel fun in the moment, connecting with friends, neighbors, or coworkers, but it never leads to anything productive. It's a self-serving practice and usually comes at the expense of others. Historically, it was beneficial for people to know what was happening in the lives of others. Knowing who was in power, who was fooling around with who, or who had just broken the rules, offered the opportunity for social advancement. But those with high emotional intelligence understand that today, all it does is cause pain and can sometimes land you in hot water. Number five, dwell on the past. According to Winston Churchill, those who fail to learn from history are doomed to repeat it. It's essential to look at past events and learn from them, but it can be harmful to live in the past, regretting what has happened. The simple fact of the matter is that you can't change your past, and dwelling on it is usually the result of regret. It's far more beneficial to understand how you can change your approach or response to a situation should it ever rise again. Emotionally intelligent people can better understand this distinction and learn from the past without becoming mired in it. Number four, have unrealistic expectations. Have you dreamed of your perfect wedding day, your perfect ideal body weight or look, Imagine the perfect life partner for yourself. We all like to dream big, but it's important to temper our expectations with a dash of reality. Expecting nothing less than the perfection you've built up in your mind is a surefire recipe for self-judgment and frustration. And trying to live up to perfection can even lead to depression. Remember, you can only control your actions, no one else's. You can't guarantee perfect weather or control the quirks and nuances that make someone unique, even if it's less favorable. And even though you can control your actions, you won't be perfect, and that's perfectly okay. Besides, those with emotional intelligence realize that failure or less than perfect circumstances are what challenge us to grow, or at least leave us with great stories and learning experiences. And before we get into item number three, I'm going to take this opportunity to remind you to give me that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the video. Number three, suppress uncomfortable emotions. Growing up, many of us were likely taught to hide less desirable emotions. Anger, fear, sadness, jealousy, frustration, and resentment are all examples of uncomfortable feelings. We generally view these as unfavorable, things to be avoided. But in reality, they're valid emotions that point to the internal struggle that should be examined, not managed. For example, if you have recurring feelings of anger but constantly suppress them, you're more likely to have explosive feelings later that can do real damage to relationships. You're also more likely to project magnified versions of these emotions onto others simply because you've reached a boiling point. Anxiety, fear, or anger may indicate that you have a situation or relationship in your life that could benefit from change. Next time you feel one of these emotions, don't tamp it down. Let it in, sit with it, feel it, and use it to better understand and adapt to whatever situation it's tied to. Number two, engage in negative self-talk. You might think you understand bullies, but turning that gaze inward can be eye-opening. Have you ever written an email or text, made a typo or spelling error, and muttered to yourself that you're stupid or less than for making a mistake in the first place? Believe it or not, we are our own worst bullies most of the time. 
If you stop to listen to your internal voice, you might discover that you are anything but kind to yourself. Walking past a mirror, you're likely to hone in on every flaw you see within yourself. But chances are you would never treat your friends that way, so why do it to yourself? Be aware of how you treat yourself and start making minor adjustments. Try daily affirmations or correcting yourself and finding things to compliment yourself about. Remember that thoughts and feelings aren't necessarily reality or truth. As your inner voice becomes kinder, you'll be surprised at how much it can affect your overall mood for the better. Number one, seek external validation. Who doesn't love a nice clap on the back, a job well done from the boss, or a ton of positive comments on that last selfie you posted on Instagram? Seeking validation from others is a typical social desire, but relying too heavily on external validation can make you attach your self-worth to the feeling of others. Only seeking this type of validation can lead to self-esteem issues, especially when you aren't receiving it. It may also lead to an inability to disagree with others out of fear that they will no longer provide the assurances you're looking for. Instead, validation should be self-generated and supplemented by those around you. We've already discussed the importance of being kind to yourself. Another way to work on self-validation is to write down your daily accomplishments. We often focus on what we didn't get done or expect someone else to thank us for our hard work. When we feel comfortable and confident with our accomplishments, external validation becomes the icing on the cake rather than the entire cake. And more importantly, it's a sign of someone with high emotional intelligence. That's it for today's video. Do you agree with our list? Which items are you most excited to work on improving for yourself? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, have a great day.